A slightly different layout to the to the normal Voron style. Um, normal Voron style has the ramps box here at the front and then the LCD right close next to it. Um, but I wanted to keep all my motors at the back and I wanted to uh, reduce the, the wiring run lengths and so all of my wiring actually st stays in the back half of the, of, the, of, the, of the frame except for these I will be creating two IDC ribbon cables that run straight to the front to run the LCD. So, I haven't actually finished the wiring yet, uh, mainly because when I plugged in uh, the Arduino uh, the Mega to flash it with the, the firmware, uh, it let all the magic smoke out. And I don't have a magic smoke putter or back render at all, uh, so I jumped on eBay and just ordered a new one. So, without that, I can't really uh, finish things off. But I thought I would show you where, where I'm up to at the moment uh, and I'll show you a few little bits and pieces of the Voron that uh, are a bit more unique, unique to my machine um, and just some design decisions I've made uh, with that. So here goes. So this is the uh, the, the bed and the, the head area. Um, you can see here I've uh, used fairly heavily um, I've fairly heavily leaned on these labels and it's probably a bit easier to see here um, and I've basically used little label maker and heat shrunk labels to everything. From my experience in doing motorsport stuff uh, this makes wiring looms a heck of a lot easier to debug and diagnose later on down the track. So much easier to just to look at a label and go oh that's the uh, that's the x-axis um, stop or, or this is the, the z-axis sensor, um, thermistor 1, uh, fan, part fan, etc, etc, um, rather than having to search around and try and find uh, what's going, what is going where. Now, I'm using up the top here a simple P-clip system uh, to hold the upper wiring limb in place. I think that would work quite well. Also, um, for a couple of people who I've seen who wanted to use uh, those standard angle, angle or corner brackets you can see that's just not going to work unfortunately uh, with this design everything is uh, quite well um, packaged in uh, into the ends and especially you can see that over here uh, where you can see basically the the um, idler sits right up against that corner we'll jump on down over here um, here's my wiring loom again uh, little um, wire, uh, little labels on all my wires, but you can also see that I've decided decided to use entire lengths of Cat5, 
Uh, this is stranded Cat5, so no issues about slipping or crimping. Um, but I've used from top to bottom, um, just used two entire um, sheaths of Cat5. Um, that helps me uh, just to simplify everything. Uh, one's for power and one's for sensors. Uh, you can see that there, labelled up. Um, just just simplifies uh, how everything is run. Uh, secondly, um, you can see all of my step motor wires here. Um, I've, as I said, I chose to go uh, with the ramps box at the backs, at the back, so that I wouldn't have to be extending step, mo step motor wires halfway around the frame. I think it will, will work better this way, but um, at, as a trade-off, you have to extend the ED IDC cable for the ramps uh, controller but I think that'll work just okay. I'm also using this uh, spiral uh, wrap for most of my cab cables. It's a bit more flexible than um, convoluted core or split core uh, wrapping and so uh, lets me just uh, flick them through and just tidy out cables quite, quite simply. I was going to use some um, split core uh, but I just couldn't find any in the right size. Uh, and also, also there on my um, extruder head, I'm using this wire, um, like a mesh wrap sort of thing, uh, which is quite flexible. Um, but I've also uh, heat shrunk it in place uh, a couple of times over. Um, so one heat shrink to bind the cables together, and then one heat shrink to to secure it down. That's glue lined heat shrink, so it's not going to go anywhere. And that should make things rather tidy. And you know suits my pedantic motorsport head. Um, uh, another quick one, I'm using just a standard, I think this is a Mark 7 maybe, extruder. Uh, just cheapy off eBay. Um, i just just using that because I have no need at the moment for flexible filament, so, so I just bolt that up and run with it rather than using the Bowden Flex extruder. And lastly, that's the heater bed up there. It's a little bit hard to see, but you can see I've just using the standard uh, setup that um, most rep wraps and prusas use. Um, just popping the thermistor into the into the middle of it, and then uh, wiring, uh, soldering the, the, the wires to the tabs. Those wires are running into this little guy. Uh, pretty standard 40 amp solid state relay, um, which will take the load off the uh, the ramps board and just mean that I, I don't have to worry about burning out MOSFETs on that. There you have it. That's where I'm up to at the moment. Uh, there will be also be the last of the uh, weekend or the Australian long weekend spam um, because I'm away for the week and I won't be able to continue building this until Friday or Saturday next week but I'm also uh, waiting on parts so it shouldn't be too much of a wait for that. Uh, any comments, thoughts, weigh in, uh, tell me in the comments section or uh, hit me up on Reddit uh, in the Voron XY um, subred and yeah, I look forward, looking forward to getting this going. Thanks for watching.